Well, Naruto, at this point now, I think you, like, when you did that sexy harem jutsu reverse form of showing all the sexy dudes to Kaguya, you might as well just had a fucking boombox or whatever the fuck you had during those ninja days, and you should have should have said just, I want to take you to a gay bar, a gay bar, because, oh my god, like, you got all them fucking bishoujo motherfuckers turning up right there. All these people and Kagi is just like, Dasai. like I'm pretty sure, regardless of what and all that, it's been a couple of like thousands of years since she's seen a bloke. So I'm pretty sure you got the the engines running at that point. She's like there, like she's probably mind-numbingly unconscious at that point. It's like, oh my god, right? Like I I love that part. Of just like that, her just going. This is the most stupidest thing I've probably ever seen in my life. This is the last thing I. I was ever expecting an opponent to do and Naruto just going there and just going oh fuck you bitch that's my one thing now here's the shocking thing of like the first thing one we're back at canon so that's very fucking shocking at first two like oh, what the like what the fuck with the animation it's really good it's not that but the whole episode is like really really good like, animation, especially, like, going through, like, the Kaguya stuff through, like, like what we saw Sasuke and him, like, escaping from the ice dimension, going into that, the ch teleportation, get, like, the Amaterasu, them charging out by, like, Kaguya. It was really fluent, and, like, not just that, the entire episode was just, like, really fucking well done at this point, and, like, hearing a newer OST as well, which I was like, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, I mean, like, I didn't see like, a lot of the Naruto Itachi stuff, like, coming into it, but it's like, to me, that's a new OST, and I'm like, holy shit, that sounds fucking great. I know one of you guys will probably say, actually, in episode 300, and I'm like, say that it's like, I was in that episode, but regardless of what, holy shit, that's some fucking great shit from there, and adding into the episodes, like, oh, by the way, let's deal with Go Kaguya, and it's like, yep, go and deal with her, sexy harem jitsu, this doesn't kind of work, because, like, Kaguya's like, oh, I'll get punched, quick sealer, and it's like, oh, that ain't too easy, forgetting the frozen dimension, Sasuke coming out like that, as they're, like, now about to get their chakra resort, it's like, yo, Awaterasu going out there, flame control, <laughs> like, it was really sick going around, it was like, Okay, we're in the frozen dimension. She can just pretty much just do this. We're finding out her power. She can just change into whatever dimension she fucking pleases. As such, she uses the tactic. Well, more like the little black Zetsu. She says, Mom, the two of them are going to be super strong together. So should you just not separate them? And she's just like... Uh... See, this is the thing about, like, Kaguya throughout the entire anime. Is that... You see the words that she said in this episode... Had that. Like, there you go. She just says nothing, and it's the black Zetsu that does the talking for her. She's just... Like, that's the thing, and I think that's the biggest problem is, like, with Naruto, uh, the fans especially, is that they've waited so long for this villain, and it's like, wow, she's just saying nothing. She's not, like, she's not the great speech, like, great fucking god king that Madara was, and it's just like, she's strong. She's definitely stronger at this point. It's like, Madara wasn't just changing dimensions, although he was dropping meteorites and Susanoo's, but it's like, even still, like, the mother of all, like, Chakra, just the, the fucking demon bitch that she was is near eye unstoppable but regardless of what you had that and obito actually coming and recovering it's like after like you know like naruto gave him a bit like healed him and like and gave him some chakra and he's like i can save sasuke i can bring him back and after everything like that but you know it's gonna take some time to do this since this isn't my own dimension and sakura's like oh, i'm gonna help you i'm gonna like heal and give you some chakra and do that that's a plan we're gonna get sasuke out of that desert dimension well pretty much sasuke is in fist of the north star right now where he's like oh what are, like, are you pretty will see some of those, like, uh, those motherfucking gangsters coming out there and you go, you are shark! Like, you're gonna have that, like, shit plane, like, I'm pretty sure, like, that's what the dimension that he's in right now. Just, like, adding into that episode and then just, like, also as well, like, having an ending with, like, finding out with all the, like, the resurrected, like, Kage, they're there and ended up very strangely, like, summoning the Sage of Six Pass at the end of it and it's just, like, why did like, that was coming out of this? Because I was thinking like, oh, this like this is probably an episode they've had the fucking other like they've like really just kept it like here and it's probably gonna look rough like when we returned from canon and like the filler looked better than like the canon, but it was like no, this was like really surprisingly really good and I hope it's the opposite where it's just like they've had had these episodes for a while, but they put a lot of fucking effort into these and they was like no. We've got all the Kaguya stuff done. We've got all the ending stuff done. We're there. 
Mate, we just want you will have some fillers here and there, but it's like, yeah, trust me, it's all done and it looks fucking bad. I hope that's the case because it looks really good and I will have to give, like, on an animation point standing, a 10 on 10. Story-wise and all that, it was pretty funny at points and all that. It was really enjoyable. I, like, I had a little bit of comedy here and there. Like, I think everyone, like, was kind of like, what the fuck with the, like, sexy harem jutsu? And I honestly think this stuff did it better than the manga. Like, adding into all of this stuff, like, I think it did better. I mean, still the open thing is like, oh, I just healed you, okay? Like, it's still, a little, like, honestly, he feels like he should be dead, which is, like, uh, a little bit on there. I I remember being kind of really pissed off with that in the manga coming into that, but even still, it's like, uh, he's going to be used, he's going to get Sasuke back, but it's like, you know, that's the kind of only way to, like, deal with this, like, crazy shit that Kaya yeah, has, like, going through, like, dimensions and stuff, so, you know, that's the case of what's going to be happening there, and just overall, I think the episode itself deserves a fucking nine, because I'm huge, like, progress with the fight going on, Sasuke's now in Fist of the North Star, that's pretty cool, funny moments, and also as well, that, like, all the Kage's being the stage of the six pass, you know, there was a lot of stuff that happened in this episode, and it feels like, wow, is this what we've been waiting for for all this long, because, like, even still, like, it was a really good episode, like, and really great animation, and, like, a really cool OST I heard, I was like, okay, I'm down to this, just make every episode like that, which is asking for a lot, because I don't remember how long the Kaguya stuff was. I think we've only got, like, what, like, 20 chapters? Like, 15 chapters? Like, I don't even remember how long this shit is. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like, they could get the Kaguya stuff done in, like, nine episodes, maybe. It depends if they do two or three chapters. That just really depends. But we'll have to wait and see. Like, honestly, I forget how much they've uh, gone through the Naruto stuff. But I know there isn't a lot left that they have to adapt. It's just, I'm just curious to see, like, is there going to be filler in between with this stuff? Are they going to try and do more stuff after that? Are we going to have some filler? Like, you know, there's some big questions and all that. What they're going to be doing. So, oh, honestly, I really enjoyed the episode. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. What do you think about the reverse Harem Jitsu and the Naruto versus Sasuke versus Kage? I like fight going on so far like that. That's all for me, though. So, if you enjoyed this Naruto episode as much as I did, then you know where to hit that like. You know where to hit that subscribe. That's all for me. I will catch you beautiful bastards next time.